Hi guys, welcome to the Artist Server. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the iDRAC 6 uh, remote console Java app working. Because of various vulnerabilities in Java over the course of time and kind of evolving events uh, on the cryptography front, things have changed where certain algorithms, crypto al algorithms that were considered secure before have become insecure and Java's own internal security policies have also changed over time. And so what happens is that a lot of times you, when you try to launch the Java uh, remote console app, um, for example, by hitting this button here, you run into a lot of problems where it won't work. And I'm gonna show you how to work around those problems but keep in mind that because this is kind of an evolving uh, issue, I have uh, firmware version 2.92 build 05 for my iDRAC 6 here. It is possible that in newer updates later on, you know, in the future, that other requirements will change and what I'm about to show you might not work. So keep, just keep that in mind that what I'm about to show you uh, in terms of how to get this Java virtual uh, console thing to work uh, applies specifically to this uh, version of iDRAC and that it may or may not work in future versions or it may or may not work in older versions. So anyway, um, just keep that in mind in case you're following this video and it's not working out for you. Okay, so let me just kind of show you what the problems are by first launching this uh, Java Virtual Console app. So it's downloaded here. I'm going to click on this. It's going to invoke uh, Java Web Start, and it's going to say, you know, there are security warnings, blah blah blah. And uh, I'll go ahead and hit continue. And so this is going to be the first problem you're going to run into. It says application blocked by Java security. So I'm running Java. Let's see here. Java version is. Uh, well, web start 11.221.2.11. And this is bundled with Java version 1.8.0 underscore 221. Okay, so this is the version of Java. I just installed it. And uh, because I just installed it, it has the default security policies. And so with that version of Java, um, you're going to get, initially, you're going to get this error message. And the reason for this is that the default policy has changed to basically completely block uh, self-signed applications. So we have to work around this. And the, the way to work around this is actually in the message here, if you read it carefully, it says, for security, applications must now meet the requirements for the high or uh, very high security settings or be part of the exception site list to be allowed to run. So this last part to be part of the exception site list is basically the answer. So let me go ahead and click OK to just get rid of that. And I'll show you how to do that. So you basically need to run the, well, at least in Linux, but whether whatever operating system you're on, there are equivalent uh, to what I'm about to show you. But um, on Linux, when, I've when you install Oracle's um, JRE, it's going to be in user Java latest uh, bin J control. So you want to launch this application. This is the Java control panel, basically. And if in Windows or on Mac, you know, there'll be an equivalent to this. So just basically look for this app if you know if you're not on Linux. And you want to, once you have this launch, the Java control panel, you want to go to security tab. And on the bottom here, you'll see exception site list. So this is where you want to add the exception. And my iDRAC is on this IP address up here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that IP address. Uh, OK, so now that I've had uh, I've added that in there, I'll click OK and click OK out of the um, Java control panel. And now let's restart and try this again. OK. And again, I'll click continue. And now you'll see, instead of saying the application's been blocked, it's just giving you a security warning, saying, do you really want to do this? So we'll say, I accept the risks. 
and click on run. Okay, so now this is the second problem you're going to run into. So now you've got this, uh, the iDRAC IP address in your exception list and it's Java's no longer blocking it, but we get a connection failed. And this is due to the problems with uh, certain crypto algorithms being disabled because they're now uh, considered insecure and uh, unfortunately uh, iDRAC 6 still uses them. So okay, so let me click on OK to get this uh, get out of that, and I'm going to show you how to fix that second problem. So in order to fix that second problem, you need to edit the Java security policy. So I'm going to um, escalate my privileges to root because you'll need to do that in order to edit this, and the Java security policy file uh, on Linux at least is in user slash java slash latest slash lib slash security and the file itself is called java.security now this file's location may be different on a different operating system so uh, but i believe the file name is exactly the same so you might have to figure out in your operating system in your installation of uh, oracle's um, jre uh, where to locate this file but uh, either way once you find it you want to edit it so uh, I'm in here and the thing you want to look for which I have highlighted already here um, is this jdk.tsl.disabled algorithms so this configuration setting basically disables this uh, line of algorithms that you see here SSL v3, RC4, DES, MD5 with RSA blah 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 and all these other things and it so happens that iDRAC6 uses RC4 so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to first copy these two lines because I want to kind of keep the original around just in case I want to revert back. And you know, the reason why RC4 has been disabled is that it's considered insecure. So this might not be a setting that you want to permanently leave around, but at least for your, for the purposes of getting around, um, you, uh, getting this Java Virtual uh, Console app to work with the iDRAC 6, uh, we're going to disable or remove RC4 from the disabled algorithms list. So I'll go ahead and delete that and then we'll I'll save this file. Okay, so now we're going to try this again. Do the launch and again we're going to have to say continue to the security warning. We're going to say yes, we're going to accept the risk and run it. And there you go. So now you have a working Virtual Console Java app with the iDRAC. Okay, so that's uh, all that it takes to get this working. Basically two things, get your IP address on the uh, exception list and uh, dis remove RC4 from the, the disabled algorithms. And once you do that, um, the J Java Virtual Console application should work. Now, again, keep in mind I'm using uh, iDRAC version 2.92 uh, or the iDRAC 6 2.92 so with, with older versions this might not work and there might be other requirements um, you know there might the older versions might be using uh, different crypto algorithms for example and you know who knows what future versions might hold so just keep that in mind that the requirements um, to get this working might be a little bit different but the idea is going to be roughly the same I know on the iDRAC 5, the previous generation um, Dell servers, there were other things that you had to uh, remove from the disabled algorithms list to make it work. So anyway, just keep that in mind. Um, it's basically very similar, but just the details might be a little bit different. So anyway, hope you guys find this useful. I know um, there were a few people in the comments of my previous videos who were asking about this, so I wanted to make this video to help you guys out with that. Alright, so uh, give me a like if you like this video, and remember to subscribe to see other videos from me. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.